Welcome to DraftingTutorials.com. My name is Casey Kepley, and today I'm going to be covering the uh, UCS, or User Coordinate System. Um, so we're going to cover uh, three different types here in the User Coordinate System, and it's the Point of Origin, uh, Relative Coordinates, and Polar Tracking. Uh, so for getting started here, this is your axis uh, when you're drafting, and this is just simply for two-dimensional drafting. So you got the x-axis over here and the y-axis right here. Okay. Now, for point of origin, basically what you're doing is you're just uh, specifying a point. Okay. And that is based off of something like this, where you have like a grid system in place. And just for beginners here, if you want to display the grid, you can unclick it. It's down here on the bottom uh, in the customization toolbar. And there's one called grid mode. Press F7. That'll bring it up. Or you can click it from right there uh, where my cursor is. <clears throat> now the other thing you can do is right click on it. And there's your grid settings. You can bring up the grid settings and you can change them, which I've already done here, uh, to a specific spacing. So you can change the X and Y axis uh, to different spacing types. Okay, I've changed all these to one just for the sake of this video so you can better understand it. Um, but going back to the point of origin here, um, to give you an example, I'm going to go 0, 0, enter, and it brings you to the very uh, point right here, the corner of the x and y axis. Okay, now if I uh, move this over, you'll see it comes to 1.0, right? So if I wanted to move 1 over on the x-axis, I would go 1, 0, enter, and it brings me over here now, and I can start my next line. Um, if I wanted to go up on the y-axis, instead of typing in 1, 0, um, you may notice this too, down here in the command line, uh, right in this area, it says at 1, 0. That would be a relative coordinate. Um, and we'll cover that here in just a second. But getting back here to the point of origin, if I want to go up on the y-axis, instead of typing in 1, 0, I'm going to go 0, say 2. And that brings me up 2 on the y-axis. If I want to go, instead of going right... If I were to go right 1, um, all I would do is, is stay in the positive numbers. So I'd say 1, 0, enter, that bring me over, right? Go up another, 0, 1, brings me up 1. Now, if I want to go backwards, though, I'm going to have to use negative numbers. And uh, we would go with, say, negative 3, 0. And that would bring me uh, over to the left, 3. So you want to go with negative numbers on that side. If I want to go down, um, I'm going to use negative numbers there too. But I'm going to go 0 because that's the x-axis. And we're going to go with negative, let's go with negative 3. And that brings me down here. So that's your point of origin. And... Um, Basically, again, the relative coordinates would be at, you know, you'd have the at symbol, and it just picks you up from the point you left off at. So in order to um, basically start a point of origin that's relative, you would just type in the at symbol and then use your coordinates uh, where your line ends okay and that'll pick you back up where you left off uh, most of the time though it's better to just draw out um, and continue your line you know layout for whatever it is you're doing uh, just because it's a little easier but if you have to go back and you have to pick up at a end point on a point of origin just use relative coordinates um, so that's point of origin and relative coordinates. The next piece I want to cover here is going to be the uh, 
polar tracking. And polar tracking is dealing with angles. Um, to better explain that to you, we'll go back to the point of origin of 0, 0. Hit it right here. Now, polar tracking is on right now. And it's right down here in the customization menu. Um, to turn it off, just click it. And you can turn it back on. You might see in the command line there it says polar off, polar on. Um, now what it does is it allows you to set your angles. So if you go to the settings here, which I just did, you just click on the down arrow, it'll bring up your angles. You got 90, 180, 270, 360. Um, you can change it to a 45 degree angle if you want, but we'll just stay with the 90, 180, and 270, 360 for now. Basically what that does is it locks you in uh, on the degrees here. So if you see my cursor, it's set at zero degrees, and you'll see a little white node right there at the, area, at the very end. That locks you in, and you can keep going up. The next point, it'll lock you in at. You see that little white node there? <clears throat> the next line is 90 degrees. And that would be polar tracking. Now you can keep going. That'll lock you into 180 degrees. If you go to the left, keep going down like this, it'll lock you in at 90 degrees or 270 degrees polar. It's a 90 degree, degree angle, but it's polar uh, 270 degrees. And then if you come back, you'll you'll be at zero. <clears throat> so basically what you want to do, if you're using polar coordinates, you can use, say, if you want to go down, down the, the y-axis here, you could use 270 degrees. And you may notice that it says, uh, it gives you a uh, greater than or an angle symbol right there next to my uh, cursor. So you would use that when you're uh, typing in from the command prompt, you would use that as your your degree symbol. Um, so you just use your, your angle symbol there, and then you can type in the degrees, um, and that should give you your, your coordinates. <clears throat> okay, I don't really use the command prompt too much for that, because, I mean, I can see the angle here. So if I wanted this... If I wanted this angle at 30 degrees, I would just leave it at 30 degrees, and I wanted to go three squares up, or three squares across, I'd just type in three. And that locks you in three squares at a 30 degree angle. It's a little bit easier. I can go back this way if I want. At 149 degrees, type in two. It'll take you two squares back. I can go down two so it's it's a fairly nice tool to use but that's um polar tracking um and that is the user coordinate system guys so that covers point of origin uh relative coordinates and polar coordinates uh my name is casey kepley you're tuning in to draftingtutorials.com if you have any questions or concerns uh you can leave comments in the in the comments section below and i'll be sure to respond back to you